Good afternoon to you, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 17th of June, 2015. Take a look at this tropical depression bill now turning over the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area. Still has a little bit of an inflow coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, so still some very heavy rain along parts of the Texas coastline. And now that rain moving inland, as was forecast, uh, on up into Texas, Oklahoma, and eventually around the top of this very well-entrenched ridge of high pressure sitting over the southeast. Uh, very hot temperatures here in the Carolinas. It's also very hot out west. That has nothing to do with what's going on with Bill, but it's interesting that Bill is kind of sandwiched in between these two areas of very hot weather. You have a ridge sitting here, and then a nice powerful ridge in the middle, and Bill was able to sneak in between the two. Uh, all of this green coloring is your flood watch information, and this is from the National Weather Service. I highly recommend visiting weather.gov, put in your zip code uh, right here, and then you get a lot of pertinent information for your local area. If you know your county, you can try to find it here in all this patchwork and click on your approximate county location. I'm going to do central Missouri here. And you might say, oh, okay, look, I live here in Springfield. So let me click on Springfield. And this is just another way to get to your local National Weather Service information. And then here it is under hazardous weather conditions, flash flood watch, hazardous weather outlook, Great information for your local area there. And then if you scroll down to the bottom under additional forecast and information, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of what's going on, read that right there, the forecast discussion. It has a lot of great information written by actual people in your local area. And so it has the short term, the synopsis, the long term. And then there it is, the last names of the authors of the discussion. That's very important. It's not computer generated. It's written by real people who also live in your area. They're not in Washington DC or in Miami or somewhere else unless you're reading this in Miami or Washington DC. The point is these are people who live in your forecast area and so you're going to get very localized information. Uh, why did Bill happen? Well we had a very strong Madden Julian oscillation pulse here over the last several weeks and that set off tropical cyclones in the eastern Pacific with Andres, Blanca, and Carlos. And then at the tail end of this MJO pulse, we had the formation of Tropical Storm Bill. Now the GFS indicating that the Madden-Julian Oscillation will basically vanish and go into the null phase here, uh, meaning that there's just not much MJO-related activity anywhere around the globe. And the MJO, real quick, is just an enhanced area of upward motion in the tropics generally and it helps to produce showers and thunderstorms more efficiently this upward motion like a big umbrella being lifted in the atmosphere to protect uh, tropical convection from wind shear uh, mainly at the 200 millibar level way up at around 40,000 feet or so and that sort of this phenomenon circles the globe uh, about every 30 to 40 days sometimes it's more amplified and easy to detect than others and we can track it with these various tools boy isn't uh, technology great these days and so you can see where it's been and then where the forecast is uh, suggesting that it'll go and you have the operational model down the middle and then you have the different ensemble uh, members kind of like a, asking a whole bunch of people their opinions about something and you get an average result and that would be uh, right down the middle here is the average if you will and then sort of the spread along the sides. And generally speaking, the GFS and the Euro suggesting that the uh, MJO will be negligible over the next couple of weeks. And so we shouldn't see, what does it all boil down to? We shouldn't see much in the way of tropical cyclone activity in the Eastern Pacific or anywhere in the Atlantic Basin. That's not to say that something won't pop up, but it's less likely when the Madden-Julian Oscillation is not in phases one and two and that's where it isn't right now it's leaving those phases behind so uh, recapping real quick this is the rainfall forecast from the weather prediction center it used to be called the hydrometeorological Predict prediction center but since i can't say it very few other people could they changed the name well there's other reasons besides that uh, and so generally speaking two to four inches in the purple 
and then obviously higher amounts in the red and the different color red, whatever you call that. Uh, it's sort of a bullseye there in south central Oklahoma. And we're talking anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of rain. And that's a lot, uh, obviously, for anybody. And this area has very saturated ground already, streams, creeks, and rivers still reeling from the very heavy rainfall that the month of May brought as front after front came barreling through the region and slamming into this Gulf moisture coming out of the northwest Gulf of Mexico. Now it's Tropical Cyclone Bill and uh, it's remnants, Tropical Storm and now Tropical Depression. So keep aware of what's going on. Remember that weather.gov, very good resource for you and you can keep track of what's going on. So be safe out there. Well, that is it from me for today and the rest of the week since Bill is inland. Again, I am Mark Suddeth for HurricaneTrack.com and, of course, Hurricane Pro in HD. I'll talk to you again this coming Monday.